40 years old you are not receiving your periods and you are asking yourself why is this happening at 40 years old why are you not receiving your periods in this video lesson i'm going to answer this question that has been asked by one of our friends she said that she is actually 40 years old but she is not receiving her periods this video is going to be in two languages, the English language and the Luganda language. Mkwano kwafe, abuzize chibuzo na gamba ati alina emiaka, ana, na yate periodize taliku ziraba. Echisera chiseko, taliku laba periodize alikuwe uza kuruachi, taliku laba periodize. So, I'm called Gerard Massa and I'm a fertility educator. I can answer all your questions about fertility. For periods to flow normally, for periods to actually flow monthly, some certain factors have to be in order. Of course, we know that hormones are chemical messengers in our bodies. Hormones, biebirungo, umana, umara, biazali wanabyo, oba umana, umarenzi, biazali wanabyo, ne mchine chivuzo, mkwano bafe, agambienti, kumia kana taliku laba periods. Tuke ndako gira ku hormones, eze mirundu eviri, of course, eze soke wako, ne walone hormones, eze endala zengi ndoku vanga njo gira ku. So, for periods to flow normally, the first hormone is known as the follicle stimulating hormone. Follicle stimulating hormone from the name follicles, it is actually a hormone that regulates the growth of your follicles, the growth of your eggs from the first stage which is actually known as the primordial stage to the second stage known as the primary stage and then of course the secondary stage whereby we actually get a dominant egg which is known as a graphene follicle. For this process to take place FSH, also known as the follicle stimulating hormone, has to actually be normal. It actually has to be balanced. Remember, as the eggs are moving from the primary stage to the secondary stage, there's another hormone that is going to be released. This hormone is known as estrogen hormone, estradiol, or also abbreviated as E2. Estrogen is known to actually regulate the wall of your uterus. Estrogen is known to regulate the wall of the inside of your uterus, known as the endometrial lining. Normally, it prepares your womb for pregnancy. If pregnancy does not happen, then the levels of estrogen are going to drop, and then you are going to see your periods. So, Tuliko gena kuhomo ni jivaise FSH, yeletera amaji okubanga kakula, negaba mustage esoka, jetuise the primary stage, negagenda mustage eyoku bili jetuise uh, the secondary stage. Amajika negaba gali kula, waliwo homo ni ndala egendo kubanga yika mubiligo, jetuise estrogen, oba estradiol. Homo neno, yeletera okubanga tegeka echisenge chana vana, Oro kubanti, ebe subiranti ogenda kubanga ofuna orubuto. Obato ofunye orubuto guengome chala, denu homa nene genda kendera, and denu jakuba olaba period zo. For the whole process of periods to move smoothly, it means that your hormones should be balancing. So, in the question, we were asked that she actually is not seeing her periods and this has been going on for a long time and she is 40 years old. She is asking herself, really, what is happening? Why is she not seeing her periods? The first answer to this question is what we call perimenopause. It could actually be that she is in a stage known as perimenopause. Perimenopause is basically the first stage before you go to menopause. Remember, menopause is the stopping of your periods, the process whereby your body stops or you stop actually going into your periods totally for over a period of 12 months. So, why you could actually not be seeing your periods? It could be that probably you are in perimenopause or you are in menopause. Your body naturally has stopped uh, basically undergoing the whole process of periods and normally some women experience this earlier on, some women experience this later on. The stage of menopause or the stage of perimenopause ranges from 40 years up to around 50 years. 
but this keeps on varying it keeps on changing according to a woman's hormonal levels according to a woman's body makeup so ekisoke bako chenyini chengendo okogera ko ekisobola kubanga kirese okubanti period zo toliziraba chinzo okubanga olimu chetu yise perimenopause oba oyinzo okubanga olimu menopause omubiriko nga gogwe nyini gwamaze dokubanga gwamaze dokubanga gogwe nyini gwetegeka okubanga gulekera awo okubanga ogenda mu period so why you are not seeing your periods at 40 years it could actually be that you are in menopause or you could actually be experiencing early menopause Next reason as to why you could actually not be seeing your periods could be that maybe there could be some other medical conditions or diseases like polycystic ovarian syndrome abbreviated as PCOS remember polycystic ovarian syndrome is a hormonal disorder it is a hormonal disease whereby your body tends to produce high amounts of androgens high amounts of the male hormone known as testosterone polycystic ovarian syndrome is a hormonal disease whereby a woman has small cysts also known as small swellings on her ovaries and then of course also she tends to have what we call insulin resistance and then lastly she tends to have what we call irregular periods or she may not see her periods at all so polycystic ovarian syndrome could be another reason as to why you are not seeing your periods at 40 years you need to go to hospital discuss with your doctor and i believe your doctor will be able to manage you after further assessments after further checkups on you ekirala ekisobola kubanga kiri kuvira ko okubanga toli kulaba periods zo ku myaka ana chinzo okubanga chiva ku chirwadde ba chetu ise a medical disease it related to ise polycystic ovarian syndrome polycystic ovarian syndrome chiba chitegeza anti amaji agomuchara galiko obuzimba bunji nyo wetu ise cysts just because wa bunji nyo that's why waliwe chigambo chetu ise poly poly chitegeza bunji nyo many so amaji ganyizo kubanga galiko obuzimba obo butini nga bunji nyo nga buletera amaji okubanga gakona ne gabanga teka machuwali nga teka kula bulunji okuvamu ejiriri e dene the three said the dominant follicle oba the graphian follicle erigendo kufuko omwana so amuchalo aba ine mbere yo bisere bisinga olaba anti chinzo kubanga chimutataganya okubanga talaba period z causes of failure to see your periods at 40 years we've talked about perimenopause we've talked about menopause we've talked about polycystic ovarian syndrome next reason as to why you could actually not be seeing your periods could be that you could actually be having or you could be experiencing what we call thyroid disorders thyroid disorders around the neck there's a small gland known as the thyroid gland it's a small organ which actually plays a very important function remember in the brain there's actually a, uh, there's a gland which is known as the hypothalamus the hypothalamus specifically releases a hormone known as thyrotropin releasing hormone the thyroid the hypothalamus releases a hormone known as thyrotropin releasing hormone this actually goes to the anterior pituitary gland another small organ in the brain and then of course thyrotropin releasing hormone sends messages or signals to the anterior pituitary gland enabling it or making it to produce another hormone known as the thyroid stimulating hormone TSH when the thyroid stimulating hormone has been released it pours into the blood remember we said that hormones are chemical messengers they are released from one part of the body they pour into your bloodstream and then they go and have effects or they go and act on another part so the thyroid stimulating hormone produced from the anterior pituitary gland 
goes into your bloodstream it travels to the thyroid gland causing it to produce three more hormones that is uh, t3 hormone also known as triiodothyronine t3 and then also t4 also known as thyroxine and then of course calistonin now when there's a dysfunction when these hormones are not balancing you may actually fail to see your periods let me answer your questions down below in the comments of this video